I hope I'm in focus. Cheeky bit of brow strap on show. Hello everybody, how are you? I hope you're well. So, I'm doing my monthly favourites video. Today it's my November favourites. What? My November favourites. That is ridiculous. How is it November? Well, no, it's December. It's December. It is December. It is my birthday month. It is the Christmas month. It is a crazy, crazy month. Crazy month. But November was filled with new products I've been loving. Like some really good favourites this month. And I thought I would share them with you. So that's exactly what I'm going to do. So I'm going to show you my favourite products from this month. Let's go. Is there anything that I haven't picked up that I know has been a favourite of mine? We're just going to crack on. Need to put up. That was a bit, that was a bit sad. Okay, so I'm going to start with my favourite fragrance of the month. Um, if you've watched me for a while, you'll know that I'm really fussy with my perfumes. I like them to be heavy. I like them to be rich. I like them to be quite masculine. I don't like floral, fruity, like anything like that, like really girly light fragrances, I don't like that, I like them to be like more like a cologne than a perfume. I wanted to find something that was very up my street but more affordable so I can carry it around in my handbag and just spritz on throughout the day. So, the, my voice kind of cracked then. So the perfume that I've been absolutely loving this month is from The Body Shop and it is their Red Musk Eau de Toilette. This smells like sexy men and I am okay with that. I went shopping with my friend Rosie and we went into the body shop just to like smell their stuff because I just like smelling everything. I smelt this, sprayed it on myself and then the whole rest of the day I just kept smelling myself and going, I smell so good. I smell, I smell so good. And I was like, right, next time I come out, I'm gonna go buy it and I bought it. Oh my God, it's lighter than my regular perfumes but still has that like warmth and depth to it but it's not like overwhelming or overpowering because sometimes I feel like I put too much perfume on and I just smell a bit like, whoa! I've got loads of compliments on this. It's not too expensive. I'm gonna repurchase it and it's a welcome addition to my collection. Oh, sexy men in a bottle. My next favorite is really, really new to me and that will shock you when you see what it is. It is the Professional from Benefit. I have never own this myself. I used my sister's a couple times and I liked it a lot but I never just thought to buy it and then the other day I was just shopping online, I had a 10% discount and I was just like let's just do it, let's just do it. I love this stuff. I've noticed over the past kind of six months the pores on my nose are getting worse and worse and worse because I'm getting really lazy with my skincare routine and I'm getting really bad and I need to just like just start afresh. This has helped prevent foundation sinking into my pores and my pores just looking large around here and on the end of my nose here. It just smooths everything else, everything else? <laughs> smooths everything out and it's just a really nice base for my foundation to sit on top of. I love this stuff a lot. It actually does what it says, does what it says on the tube, which is Pro Balm to minimise, in bold, the appearance of pores, which is what it does. So that's good. Actually, another thing that you'll be shocked that I've never tried, which I only just tried this month, which is also from Benefit, is that Hello Flawless Oxygen Wow Brightening Makeup. Oil free SPF 25. I'm in the shade, I'm so money honey. I love the names. Wait, am I wearing it now? I am wearing it now. I am wearing it now. <laughs> I'm wearing it now. I couldn't remember what foundation I was wearing. I'm wearing it now. Do I want to say that again? I'm wearing it now. It's quite a bit sheerer than what I'm used to wearing because I like to wear full coverage every day because I just like it. I just, that's just my preference. I don't think I need it. I just enjoy wearing it because I like it. Oh, small fly. <laughs> So easily distracted. Where was I? Foundation. It's medium coverage but buildable. This shade is quite pink toned. Um, I'm norm I normally go for more of a yellow toned foundation but I wear a yellow toned powder on top and it balances it out nicely. I'm losing my voice suddenly. But I really really like this foundation a lot. I posted a picture on Instagram like a month ago of just like 
the makeup I've been wearing recently but with a slightly brighter lip and then in my 50 facts about me video I wore the same lip colour and you guys went mental for it and it is this. This is called Absolutely It. It is a MAC Pro Longwear, yeah, a MAC Pro Longwear pencil. It is such a beautiful colour. It's a berry, berryish, reddish, plum. It just works. I don't know. It makes your lips look plumper because it's got a slight sheen to it. Makes them look a little bit more moisturised. Um, it's just such a gorgeous colour. It's glides on, it lasts for an absolute age. I mean, it's a pro long wear lip gloss. Look, what? No, it's not. Lip liner, so it should last a long time. It's its kind of premise. But it's such a gorgeous shade. And you guys have all, like, so many of you just went crazy over this lip colour. So this is what it is. Go buy it. The next thing is a very old favourite, which I lost and then repurchased because I missed it. It is the Real Techniques Contour Brush. I lost it about eight months ago and I've really missed it. I repurchased the, con the core collection so I have a new buffing brush which is just... It's a dream. It's an absolute dream. It's so soft. It blends like a dream. It's synthetic so I can use a cream contour or a powder contour. Sometimes I put my blush on with this if I want a little bit a little bit of a bit of something. It just feels so natural to me. It's just like it belongs in my hand, you know what I mean? Just, oh, we are, we are one. We'll never be parted again. This okay. is the Clean Organics Jeunesse Intensive Rejuvenating Vitamin C Serum. I have been trying this for probably about a month now, I'd say. And so I'll do my skincare routine, which has completely gone to shit. I'll put this on. Sometimes before my moisturiser, sometimes in place of my moisturiser. It basically, for starters, it smells really zingy, like citrusy, which I really like. Just pumped it everywhere. That is what she said. It's like an anti-aging product, but it's good for lightening dark patches and scarring and age spots. And I get... Hyperpigmentation, when I get a spot, it scars for a really long time. Not like deep tissue scarring, more just like a little bit of discoloration. And I found that this has helped fade any redness that's on my face from previous breakouts that I've had. It doesn't feel greasy in the morning, it just feels really hydrated. So I just put it on before I go to bed at night. I don't put it on under my makeup, you, you can. It's really light and I have put it on under makeup before. Um, but I just prefer to do the treatment at night so I'm not like putting stuff on top of it, if you know what I mean. I'm just letting it do its thing on its own. My skin just feels plump and happy and it's good for like sun damage and when I was younger I went on a lot of hot holidays and when I go on holiday I'm a bit of a sun worshipper. <laughs> my grandparents on my dad's side have always um, kind of struggled with the effects of sun damage and they always tell me the one thing I do, I should do is protect my skin and prevent sun damage. So I am starting early, I use SPF on my face and I'm starting to use this because it's good for sun damage and I'm listening to my grandparents. <laughs> the Bedhead Shampoo, the Colour Goddess one. Now I'm aware that my hair isn't coloured but the reason I love this is because of how it smells. Holy cow! If you get a chance to smell this, smell it. It just smells of straight up toffee, like just toffee. It, it, it just smells of toffee. It's a massive bottle and I've been using this for like a month now and I've only used about this much and I wash my hair like two or three times a week. Anyway, not the point, but it's moisturising because I get quite a dry scalp, especially at this time of year. It just gives my hair the moisture it needs, my scalp feels happy. I hugged my dad the other day and he was just like, you smell so good, what is that? I was like, I hope he isn't using it because I'd be really, really fucked off if he is. I know that loads of girls are like really big on shoes and like really into shoes. I am not one of those girls. If I'm honest, I just don't really care about shoes and every day I wear like simple, simple shoes. Normally, black Chelsea boots. And I've had, oh my god, I've already like fucked these ones up. I had a pair from New Look. They've lasted me a year, but now there's holes in the soles and holes in the sole, so I needed a new pair and I went for these ones. These are from London Rebel and I like these because they're slightly lower, like 
ankle boots than my other ones they came up a little bit higher so I can like wear cropped trousers and they actually looked cropped rather than like an awkward length with like a little bit of the boot being covered if you know what I mean they're slightly more pointed than my old ones and they're a welcome welcome addition to my wardrobe because I've worn them every day since I bought them which was probably about three or four weeks ago now obviously to most people they're just black Chelsea boots but I love black Chelsea boots I wear them every single day and I was at Tim's the other day and I said do you like my new shoes he didn't know that they were different to the ones I used to wear every day so the sole is cracked I just noticed it that's really bad it's because when I'm like kneeling on the shop floor to like do stuff down below that sounded really bad <laughs> on my toes and it must have like cracked that's highly annoying but what can you do? I hope you guys have had a really, really happy month. I've had a very, very busy month. Hopefully things will start to chill out soon um, and videos will start appearing soon. I mean, obviously, actually wait, if this is going up on the 1st of December, today the first Vlogmas went up, which means Vlogmas has begun. That's really scary. Right, uh, Vlogmas has started. Vlogmas has started. <laughs> Panic station. <laughs> Link down below, Emma's wreck. Vlogmas has begun. Wow. I hope you have a great day and uh, I'll see you very, very soon. Goodbye. Let's get a thumbnail, shall we, Kitty Wings? We shall. Right, let's get a little thumbnail, okay? Okay.